The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update, and currently we have a little bit of a mixed bag out there with the U.S. equity futures. You've got the Dow down 38 points, the Russell down 70 cents right now, and the S&P is up four, and the NQ up 53 points. Over in Asia last night, it was a sea of green. Shanghai finishing up a total of 25 points, about three-tenths percent, half percent for the Nikkei, and the Hang Seng up nearly 2 percent, 394 points. It is four or will complete a TD9 count top on Monday. Over in Europe this morning, the DAX up 47. The FTSE is up 9. Gold's up about 2 bucks, silver 13 cents. Lightspeed crude trading out at 81.16. That's up 55 cents. Natural gas is flat. U.S. dollar index up 44 ticks. It's trading out at 102.28. I do have a 10-minute delay on that. So what's all that mean? Jelly bean. Let's go take a look at our nine-panel market update chart. Will you look at my white background ones? I think we looked at the uh, black ones during the uh, 8 to 9 show that we recorded. If we look at the ES Mini, right now it's trading inside a new profile. 38.83 is a key level of support. Price is below that green oscillator and change line. As long as it remains below that, 38.83 is a likely outcome. The NQ should pull back the test at 11.294 area. Now, the NQ's 30-minute TAS market breadth is bullish. The ES Mini's TAS market breadth for its 30-minute time frame is bearish. Sounds to me like we've got a choppy market. The Dow equity future contract, which has been the strong dog out there, it's trading below profile support. That suggests that it wants to take a run for its most recent low out here. That low would take us into the time period of December 20, December 20th. And that number, 32,686. If price closes below that, you would generate an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. The case of high-grade copper on a daily basis, it's got a nice TD9 count top. Should take price right back to its oscillator and change line. We just looked at copper during the uh, previous show. Very bullish for the weekly and the monthly time frame. Gold, traded above the top of its uh, profile, traded above its green oscillator and change line. Those are bullish conditions. In the case of silver, it's got Rogemont and Indicator tops out there. It needs to close above 2477 to be on its merry way to the upside. Lightspeed crude, consolidated with inside its profile out there its resistance level is at 8177 natural gas here's the daily time frame right now it's just uh, saying hey stevie i'm ready to form a bullish engulfing candle and confirm one of your roads momentum indicator bottoms it might do that but we'll come back and take a look at that on monday folks stay tuned tommy o'brien is up next have a fantastic weekend i'll see you on monday